Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And over the past couple of days, I've been doing a weighted vest experiment, as you can see on the slide there. And what I wanted to find out was a true purpose about how effective are weighted vests for walking, how effective weighted vests are for running, and also, is it worth the money? Now, my weighted vest here, this isn't sponsored by the way, my weighted vest here was around 70 quid, but, but that's generally averagely priced. You can pick them up a lot cheaper. You can get some for even 20 to 30 pounds, and they can go up into the hundreds of pounds. And there's not a lot of videos on YouTube that really go into the benefits or in fact, the non-benefits of short-term goals with weighted vests. And as you can see here, these are the things that I wanted to test with regards to short-term goals and the amount of extra calories that you might be able to burn if you're wearing a weighted vest. So the stats to start off with. Essentially, this is me. I'm about 170 pounds and five foot nine. So all the stats that you're going to see in the tables a little later on in this presentation are all based around myself. Also, they, I did the whole route over a 3.91 kilometers. Um, here's a little video of what it looks like now. So here's the hill. This is gonna be pretty brutal when it comes to running with the weight vest. And it doesn't just stop at the top that you can see either it bends right the way round to the left. And here is the second part of that hill. Lovely views on the way back. And we've just got one long straight road now all the way back to the finish. The weight vest that I wore was 10 kilograms, and as I said before, weight um, cost about 70 quid. And also the weather the whole time was very similar. So I was quite lucky with the weather over the past three days, clear blue skies, very light breeze around, varied really the temperature between two and seven, eight degrees. So the experiment. What did I do? Well, I did a walk. I did a weighted walk with my 10 kilogram vest. I also did a run. And I also did a weighted run, exactly same route, 3.91 kilometers. And these are the results. We're going to start off with the walk. So what you have here is workout time, my average pace, total calories burned throughout the workout, calories per kilometer, my average heart rate throughout the workout, the time difference between the two and also the calorie difference. Now, as you can see here, between the walk and the weighted walk, there's around a two minute difference, one minute, 52 seconds. And my average pace with the weight vest on was around 30 seconds slower per kilometer. However, this is the interesting bit now. The weighted walk, even though I was walking longer, I burnt less calories. And I burnt less calories because my heart rate wasn't working as hard throughout that whole time. I was going slower throughout the whole run. So you look here with the time difference, and then you look at the calorie difference at the end, and that's, I burned five calories without wearing a weighted 
vest. So for short term goals, essentially I burned five more calories walking almost two minutes less. Right, the run. So the run, same again, 3.91 kilometers, exactly the same route. So I did the run, I did the weighted run. Now the weighted run, as you can see, I'm almost five and a half minutes slower than the normal run with no weighted vest. But what's different with this, the run and the weighted run, as compared to the walk and the weighted walk, I did burn more calories with my weight vest on. So calories per kilometer was almost 70 calories per kilometer with the weighted run, but only 67 with the normal run. But my average heart rate was lower with regard to wearing the weighted vest on the run. And that was because I was going slower and I wasn't working as hard. So you can see this time difference there with plus five minutes, 31 seconds, but I did burn nine more calories. So I burned nine more calories. However, I was running for five and a half minutes longer. And if you look at my average pace here, then you will see the five minutes 30 is 67 calories. So if I had ran for exactly the same time on the run with no vest as I did for the weighted run, I would have burned another 67 calories, which then take, takes my total calories to what, 330, which is far more than wearing it with the weight vest. So as you can see here, really, there was no benefit with regards to calories burned actually wearing a weight vest. So, what would I say? In summary, essentially, time versus calories, in all honesty, the amount of time you are moving with a weight vest to the amount of calories burned is just not worth it. Walking without a weight vest running without a weight vest, the calories burned is more beneficial. So for short term goals, me personally, I probably wouldn't advise getting a weight vest for short term calorific goals. However, on the other side, when you look at the longer term goals, I believe that the weight vest will probably be better for strength. So in the longer term goals, you can mix in the weight vest potentially with your training plan. And because you're carrying that extra weight, it is harder on the muscles and therefore the muscles potentially should grow. So for a longer term goal for speed and strength, weight vest could be the answer. But for shorter term calorie deficit goals, according to this experiment, Weight vests are not the answer. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you do have any questions, please just ask and I always get back to them all. Take care. Bye.